you guys it's your girl passion welcome back to my channel y'all so i just got back from the grocery store um and i'm about to show y'all what i got can y'all see me good i hope y'all can so i'm gonna start off with the veggies first so i got some orange and red bell pepper um for my stir fry i got some cucumber i want to make me a green juice so i got some cucumber regular cucumber those aren't the ones that i use in my spring grow i got some green apples Oh, apples so bag of apples okay so i got some broccoli because i'm gonna make me a stir fry this time i'm gonna do broccoli i did um snow peas the last time i got some baby spinach and i'm gonna use this for my spring roll i got some regular spinach this is for my um smoothies i got some celery this is gonna go with the green juice um that i'm gonna make with the cucumber um this and some apples and then i got some baby spinach and kale the kale bag was way too big all together with kale and i don't really like kale like that so i just got a mixture so i'm gonna do this with my green juice and i have a separate bag of spinach for my um smoothie my fruit smoothie so i got frozen fruit for my fruit smoothie i got some blueberries and some strawberries and then with my bananas i buy bananas um i cut them up and then i think it's cheaper that way i cut them up and then i freeze them and use it for my smoothies uh with my stir fry i got some green beans and i got some cilantro for my spring rolls with the shrimp i think i told i showed y'all in one of my vlogs um with the shrimp and stuff so i put some cilantro in there with some spinach some shrimp red bell peppers and um i think that's it oh cucumbers the other kind of cucumbers not this kind i'm gonna show y'all that kind and then i got some thyme for uh, my chicken i'm gonna show y'all the chicken and i got some cheese javon wanted some cheese um he likes shredded cheese so i got him some cheese got him some hot dogs for lunch during school um break you know lunch break and whatever so this is the cucumber that i was talking about it says mexico on it um these are they taste way different to me than the other cucumbers um i be seeing people do they mukbangs like seafood mukbangs with this kind and it tastes better i tried it before with the other ones and i don't like it so this one is for my spring rolls and then i got some brown eggs um i got some eggos for javon i got two packs of turkey bacon just so i can have extra um i'm gonna put those in the freezer I got some ranch dressing, some French dressing, and these little um, Uncrustables. Javon likes these, so I got him some of these too, just so he have options for different things he want to eat if I don't feel like cooking. Um, some corn dogs for him. And this is my chicken that I'm going to do. I'm going to put meat this time in my stir fry. So I'm going to cut these up into little small dice pieces and freeze the rest because I don't need that much for my meal prep. Um, so this is gonna go with my vegetable stir fry and then I believe I showed y'all my teriyaki sauce I'll show y'all again. I got these pizzas for Javon. He likes these pizzas and hot pockets I know a lot of warm-up food for him, but Kids, you know, that's what they like. Also, we have salmon. I don't personally like salmon It tastes too fishy to me, but he loves it um, When I do the brown sugar honey glaze on there, so I have salmon as well and then he picked this cereal, the Reese's Puffs, and some Lucky Charms. This is the teriyaki sauce. Like I said, I showed y'all this um, in another vlog. So this is from my stir fry. Uh, I get the large bag of frozen shrimp from Walmart um, for my spring rolls. This is the rice paper that I use for my spring rolls. I'm almost out, so I'll grab me another one. Um, I got these Rick's crackers for Javon. I'm gonna make him some tuna. And I got two gallon of water because I um, I believe I showed y'all my water bottle. My blue water bottle, I got a while ago from Hobby Lobby. Um, I try to drink at least two of those a day. If not, then I'll drink one. It is 64 ounces, so yeah. 
Um, and I got these Capri Suns for Javon, some little juice, because I'm not doing juice or anything right now for myself. So, um, he likes the Capri Suns. He has a variety bag of chips as well for his um, hot dogs, whatever, sandwiches, tuna sandwich, you know, like that. And I got me an aloe vera um, for my hair and for my face. This is a pretty good one too, y'all. This one is like super thick. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, it's super thick. Girl, you thick. Th -th 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 thick. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I got some regular mayonnaise. Um, only time I use mayonnaise is when I make tuna. We use Miracle Whip, and Javon, he really don't eat, like, regular sandwiches anymore besides, like, a tuna sandwich and stuff, but I got this to make his tuna. I got some more honey for my um, green tea. I got some syrup for Javon's Eggos, and then I got another can of tuna, even though I have some, I just like to get extra. Um, I got some hoist, hoisin sauce. I said hoister. <laughs> um, this sauce, I make a peanut sauce for my spring rolls. I think I told y'all about that as well. And um, these noodles, Javon likes these teriyaki chicken noodles. So I got him some noodles. And then for me, for my chips, I've been eating rice cakes. I don't know. They might not be healthier than regular. Well, I know they are. They're better than regular chips. You know, they still have some kind of downfall to them but i have not been eating regular chips or anything like that so i've been munching and crunching on me some rice cakes y'all so yeah i got rice cakes um some hot dog buns for the hot dogs i got cases of water and i um i showed y'all they got in the water but i got cases but it's too heavy i'm not about to pick it up and show y'all in the video um and then i got me some um hangers i needed some more non-slip hangers and stuff like that i got me a desk so if it works out good um I'm gonna show y'all the desk or let y'all know about it or whatever. Um, actually, I'm gonna just show y'all in this video uh, the desk in the box. Which All right, y'all. So this is the little desk that I got from Walmart. Um, this one was $59. Just something simple for my room. So I got me a desk. Um, I gave Javon my old desk. If you are a old subscriber, um, then you know from not my last apartment, but the apartment before. I had a bigger space, so I made myself a filming room, and um, I got a desk, a little cheap desk. I think that one was like $20, $21, something like that. I got that one from Walmart as well. So I still have it. Um, my son is getting older, and what he was using before, his little table, he had his own little table and chair, but he outgrew it. So I was just like, either I'm gonna get him a new one, find him one that can grow with him, um or i'm gonna give him mine so mine's fit perfect in there it goes with his furniture it's black um and you might have seen it on some of my previous vlogs since i've been living here as well but um yeah so i'm about to make me a green juice i might come back while i'm drinking it um but i'm definitely gonna let y'all know what i think of it i normally get the i think it's called suji and it has like celery kill some basically some of the same things that i got um is the one that I, I buy from Walmart. But I'm trying to figure out, I'm gonna um, look now, probably on YouTube or something. I wanna know if my Nutribullet can juice. Cause I didn't get the juicer one. I know it's a blender. Um, and when I do make it a juice, cause I only like green juice as a juice. I really don't like it as a smoothie. You know, it's all thick and all that kind of stuff or whatever. So um, none of the stuff that I'm gonna put in it is gonna be frozen. Hopefully that will help not make it so thick. Um, but yeah, so I'll come back and let y'all know what I think of it uh, and I'll be back with y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, so moment of truth. <laughs> this is my aftermath of my green juice. And as y'all can see, it's, it's pretty much juice. Um, but y'all, trial and error. I had to use this just to get it in here, um, to strain it, the pulp and stuff that was in it or whatever. So can't use a Nutribullet as a juicer, which y'all should already know. Y'all probably was already telling me y'all in the comments when I was talking about it. But anyways, it worked out good with the strainer, blah, 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 whatever. So I'm about to try it, um, and see it does not smell appealing, but all the work that I did to go through it, I'm going to drink this, y'all. So, I'm about to try it. Mm. 
no cap that's bomb that's better than the um green juice that i get i don't know i'm wondering like dang girl did you make it healthy enough honey or did you put um all the unhealthy stuff in there <laughs> so let me tell y'all what i use because that do taste good y'all i use some almond milk um uh i use the matcha powder that i put in my smoothie the green tea matcha powder i use the kale and spinach i use the celery and the cucumber and i squeezed um a half of a half of lemon in there and it's way better than i thought it don't smell good like it smelled greeny but tasting it i could taste the sweetness of the almond milk and maybe the matcha powder um helped me i don't know if y'all feel like um the almond milk is not a good choice to do because it makes it sweet inside the juice because i'm still gonna do it for my smoothie y'all i ain't giving that up to, um to me that's better than putting a juice in there um using the almond milk but i need to get some unsweetened because i do got vanilla but let me know maybe i should use water or something i don't know but um this is good like no lie this is good for real it tastes way better than the um juice that i buy that's already pre-made Mm -hmm. that's bomb and i wouldn't have been drinking it like this quickly if it wasn't it's good y'all so that's a thumbs up i just need to figure out a better way um to get it in this form i think when i make it again i'm going to not put it in the strainer and see how i like that mixture because like i said when i was it was like a lot of pulp um coming out you know it was all fizzy and foamy and stuff like that that got trapped in a strainer and then all the juice was just coming out so i'm gonna see maybe i should not strain it um you know because the skin i left the skin on all this stuff i didn't scan anything stuff like that so with the skin blending it up maybe that's even more um nutritious maybe that's more better i don't know but this definitely does taste good with this mixture that i got going on but definitely leave it in the comments if y'all drink green juice um and maybe if i should use water or something like that don't play with her thug life all right y'all excuse the noise in the background i'm watching a movie but this is my corner over here so temporarily this is where i'm gonna leave it this is what the desk looked like it actually was very easy to put together all i had to do was put the legs on there i need to vacuum too because that's styrofoam and all that falling out the box but Y'all, this one comes with a drawer. It's so cute. So cute and convenient. And it was only $59 at Walmart. So, it is pressed wood. It's not all, you know, real wood or whatever. Um, But, this is good to me. Apartment friendly. Alright, y'all. So, this is what I did. I got my makeup bin under there. My printer. Um, This is temporarily, y'all. Do not mind my computer. It's busted. But... We gonna get we gonna get right. Y'all know I'm a bargain shopper, so boom. So that's what I got. Uh, it's um nighttime now. Um, I've been chilling. I've been doing little things around the house. I did some of my meal prep. I'm gonna finish the rest of it tomorrow. Y'all, uh, I really like my um desk. I think it was a really. I think it's a pretty good desk for the price that I got it for. Um, and it comes with a drawer. I have an idea. Um. I've been looking at a few YouTube videos regarding a vanity, a DIY and stuff. I've seen some people get um, different like desks and shelving and stuff like that from Ikea and all that kind of stuff. But I've seen somebody get a mirror and um, order some lights that stick on, uh, that stick at the back of them on Amazon and make their own little vanity so it's not actually connected to the desk it's just like sitting on the desk i'm thinking about doing that and um some people i've seen like under 40 dollars under 50 dollars um so i'm still trying to figure things out because i really don't know the placement exactly where i want to have it in my room and if i do at the vanity where my old desk was was in front of my window I'm not going to be able to have a mirror, you know, in front of my window. I'm going to utilize the space that I do have. I don't want it to be um, overcrowded or cluttered or anything. As y'all know, um, 
I'm still decorating and things like that. I thought I was actually done with my room as far as furniture, um, things like that. But I still want to get some kind of pieces um, now with my perfume collection that I'm starting. Because I just have a bin for like my body sprays, body wash and stuff like that in my hall closet. Um, but I want to change that out so I can have more room in there for like hair products and all that kind of stuff. So I might be adding it to my cube. Um, under my TV where my candles and stuff are. I don't know yet, but that's what I'm thinking about. I ordered some storage for under my bed. Um, since I have a low pro profile bed, it's kind of hard finding bins that I actually will fit under there because it's such a small space as far as height. So I ordered those. Those should be here within the next few days. Um, and I think I'm going to put like my clothes, my pillows, because I have a whole bunch of my pillows. If y'all know, when I first got my bed, my whole bed was full pretty much with uh, pillows, but I don't sleep with them, you know, and every day I don't want to keep putting them on, putting them on, putting them on or whatever. So, um, I want to take those out of my closet because right now that's where they are and put them under my bed and extra comforters and, you know, things like that, that I don't use on a regular basis, but I use when like company come over. Um, and I still haven't finished my living room. That's why I haven't showed y'all, but I did a room tour, my room tour. And I believe I showed y'all Javon's room. Yeah. Cause I got him a dresser a few months ago and stuff like that. Now he has a desk for um, his virtual learning. Um, Y'all know since the school thing changed with this virus and all that kind of stuff. And I want to get him a lamp for his room. Some curtains because his theme now is Fortnite. It was Batman. So he had the curtains, the bed set, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. So it's a work in progress. I'm getting things, um, you know, slowly but surely, you know, at my own pace or whatever, different ideas, different inspirations, different things that I see. But yeah, so I, um, like I said, I really do like the desk. I think it's apartment friendly. Um, you get what you pay for basically. And like I said, it's not full solid wood. It is pressed wood, but I think it's it's good for me, for my space, for what I'm going to use it for. Just like I showed y'all my kitchen table. Some people liked it for the price. Some people didn't like it. I'm cool with it. It works for me and it works for my space. Um, I, I like to get affordable things in general, but to me, um, apartment friendly things at an affordable price. When I purchase my home, that's when I want to spend on um, things, you know, that are more of a permanent type of thing. So I'll spend more money. But in an apartment, to me, it just don't make sense of buying, you know, five, six hundred dollar furniture and stuff like that. And I'm renting to me. Um, but yeah, y'all. So I'm about to relax. I'm tired. I don't know if y'all can hear that my voice. Um, I've been up early today. I was out at the store doing all the things that I need to do. I got an early day tomorrow as well. Um, but please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all of your girls' uploads. Hey, girl, hey, and I will see y'all in the next video.